Move to a beach, fish a little, play guitar, relax with your family, and the fisherman was like smiling. And at the end of the day, it's not even about being successful. It's just making enough money to just enjoy living on this beautiful island. I'm gonna try and enjoy the rest of the day. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yes, if you come to the Philippines, come check out Boracay. What's up guys? I'm here in Post Boracay. This is my go-to hotel. I love it here. It's like home. So we got a chance to work out yesterday. So it wasn't all bad, you know? So the workout place here. Got a chance to play some chess over there. Got some air hockey. I'll show you guys the sunrise. It's golden hour this morning golden hour super low tide right now so it's like you can walk out because usually the water just comes up right here you know but you can go all the way out right now but this is Boracay guys I mean look look how beautiful this place is it's just a stretch of beach all the way here and I grew up in Hawaii so I'm used to beautiful beaches and this is by far I must say one of the most beautiful beaches that I've ever been to it's relaxing it's nice there is a lot of people all right coffee time Get ready. In the next minute, I'll share a fascinating insight that fits perfectly with the peaceful vibe of this beach. You won't want to miss it. What's up, guys? All right, so I'm here, and behind me is the beach. And every time I come to the beach, it reminds me to like slow down and to really remember what it is or why it is that we do something, right? A lot of times, you know, we think, you know, we gotta grind, 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 make all this money. But I wanna share this story. There was this real successful businessman, right? And he actually decided to take a vacation to a beach, kinda similar to Barakai, right? And this businessman, he, he built up his business from the ground up, multi, multi, multi-millionaire. While he was walking along the shore, one morning he noticed this old fisherman. This fisherman was returning with his small boat filled with fish, right? So the businessman was intrigued and he kinda st struck up a conversation with this fisherman. And the fisherman explained that every day he caught just enough fish to support his family and then he would spend the rest of his time relaxing on the beach, playing guitar, enjoying some time with his family and his loved ones and you know Jack was the businessman's name so being that being the entrepreneur that Jack was he saw an opportunity and he proposed this business plan to the fisherman he said look if you spend more time fishing you could sell the extra fish the profits you could buy a bigger boat hire a crew uh, even catch more fish then he was like look eventually you could even own a fleet of fishing boats and then the fisherman was like okay and then what and then the businessman Jack, right? He's like, well, then you could move to a big city and run your, you know, you know, run your enterprise and, and make a, a huge fortune. The fisherman was saying, okay, well, cool. So, well, then what? Well, then you could retire and move to a beach, fish a little, play guitar, relax with your family. And the fisherman was like, smiling, isn't that what I'm doing right now? And that's when Jack, the businessman, that's where he was just kind of in silence. He was kind of in awe, like realizing what he just said, right? He saw the wisdom in that fisherman. See, the businessman's been so focused on future success and expansion that he had overlooked the value of contentment and the balance of being in the present, right? So, you know, so when the businessman, he left the beach that day, he carried with him this really like a new perspective because success wasn't just about growing your business. It was also about appreciating the present, finding the balance in life. Excited? Get ready for another revelation that matches the gentle breeze and sand around us. You're in for a treat with this enlightening twist. Anyways, just sharing with you guys, you know, the importance of recognizing what truly matters in life, the beauty of simplicity. And sometimes, you know, we get to this point, I remember for myself, right? Like, you know, I was envisioning in my head, I had to make a certain amount of money before I went on vacation, before I was able to travel the world. And it was a few years back and I was taking this life book class, right? They're like, list down some goals that you want to accomplish when you hit your financial goals. And I think I, my financial goal for the year was like three or $4 million, just 
just starting off. I write down my financial goals, then I write down the goals that I want to accomplish and the things that I want to do once I accomplish these goals. And it was like go to Thailand, go to Japan, go to Mexico. And while writing it down, I realized I could already do these things. Like you didn't need three to four million dollars. I was actually, you know, making more than enough money to take the time off to enjoy these trips. And so I did. So I booked these trips and it was like one right after the other. I went to like Tokyo, Osaka, Thailand, Mexico, and Cabo. It just made me realize that we have to be in the present. We, you know, you don't, you don't always have to go after these big, crazy, crazy, crazy goals, work yourself to exhaustion, and then not be able to enjoy any of the fruits of your labor or even just enjoy life, period. That was just another story I thought about while sitting on this beach, you know, looking out there and, you know, you have these hustlers here, right? They're hustling every day, you know, selling pearls, selling dinner buffets, sunset cruises, dude selling sunglasses right there. Like, they're hustling and I'm watching them. I'm like, man, that's crazy. You know, like, how, how much do you have to sell in order to, like, be successful? And at the end of the day, it's not even about being successful. It's just making enough money to just enjoy living on this beautiful island. All right, it doesn't take much. If you're in the U.S., like, it costs a lot for us to go to the beach and enjoy wherever it is, right? You know, living in the Philippines, for example, I mean, for $1,000 a month or $2,000 a month, you can live very comfortably. You know, like, I know people that live for $500 a month. They're very content with how they live. So that just goes to show, really, you have to think to yourself before you do any business, before you start your journey, make sure you understand what you want your destination to be. When you realize what you truly want your destination to be, only then will your journey actually make sense. You know, it's funny, the first two or three days I was here, I was like filled with anxiety, filled with stress. Like, you know, my brain saying, Jason, you need to be at work. You need to be at the office. You need to be making sales calls. You need to be doing this, doing that. I couldn't fully enjoy myself, but isn't that life, right? Like sometimes we're at the office and we're thinking I should be spending more time with my family. I should be out at the beach. I should be taking them on vacation. I should be spending more time meditating or relaxing, whatever it is. And then when we actually get a chance to relax or go to the beach, or spend time with their family, I'm like, you're thinking to yourself, I should be at home working, or I should be at work, I should be focusing on building my business. It's just, we have we go through the same pattern with our family, but we're thinking about business. With our, with our loved ones, but we're thinking about business. And guess what? We're nowhere, you know what I mean? We're not present with where we're at, we're nowhere. So I'm gonna try and enjoy the rest of the day. It's been a little easier now since I've been here a while. I've realized that we have great team members and the business goes on without me having to worry.